top of the morning to you lads St. Patty's Day weekend I didn't go out last night well I did I went to a movie with Casey had a nice time it's always good to get out wanted to do a little bit of documenting today haven't done that in a while so it's March 18th my birthday's tomorrow I turned 37 Wow 37 um, guess I don't know how I feel about that not that much I can do about it but so anyways it's in the home building industry real estate new home sales construction industry this is this is definitely uh, what I would call the uh, my busy time of year and, and year-round is busy I mean we're we're building pretty much the same amount of homes year-round however as soon as January first of the new year is over you know between then and pretty much June that's when I seem to have the most meetings and inquiries from people so today Sunday I've got three in a row three meetings in a row um, every pretty much every day of the week I've got at least every day that I work of the week I get, I've got at least one one meeting a lot of times it's two so that doesn't leave time during the day to get the, you know, when I meet with the person today and I've got notes or, or plan adjustments to make or pricing adjustments, that stuff's all got to get done as well. And if I've got meetings throughout the day, it, you know, I, I can't do that other stuff during the day. Uh, real estate, same thing. I mean, there are the most people out there looking for new homes right now. There are the most people wanting to sell their homes right now because now is just kind of the uh, it's it's ingrained into people's heads that you know spring is is when you should list your your home because that's the busiest time, and it is so. You know I do real estate, new home construction sales, so it's it's tough and and like the inquiries, you know just are nonstop. So I've got three meetings today. Um, I've got somebody who inquired about. I met with them already. They found a lot, and they have a uh, a lot that they're uh, looking at purchasing. Well, we got to do research. It's not just a standard subdivision lot. It's wooded. There's some things we have to investigate. So I'm going to try and fit in a phone call uh, with them as well. But I guarantee that today I'll probably get at least two to three voicemails, which is kind of slow for you know it's Sunday. You you get more during the week, but. I'll get at least two to three voicemails of new people looking to, you know, they want to either come to the model or they want to meet. And I'll probably get at least a couple of emails from new people inquiring about certain things, maybe a lot that they have listed or wanting to get together and meet. So it's hard. So you've got all the meetings and then you're trying to keep up with all of the, uh, you know, the administrative work on top of that, along with getting back to you know new inquiries and then setting up meetings with them so and and it's kind of a tough tough situation you know we as a builder are you know our home building company you know we're looking to actually expand and 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 do about 30 homes this year um, which means we would like to do 25 you know approximately 25 uh, custom homes for you know for clients and last year we probably did 20 custom homes for clients so I'm gonna try and pick up that that uh, part of my game there and, and you know be able to get five more so in order to do that you need to meet with as many as people as possible because of course not everybody that you meet with is is gonna work out and and it is a numbers game so you, you have to if somebody calls and inquires you can't just leave them by the wayside and say you know what I'm super busy right now I don't need to meet with anybody else. I've, I've got more than enough that I can handle. Well, that is true, but you always need to be looking ahead to keep your you know, your sales pipeline full. And just for a, a home building company, um, even if I wasn't in sales, you know, myself as, as the builder, we need to keep our dig, our dig schedule to, you know, digging two to, to three every month. And in order to do that, you've just, you've got to meet with as many people as possible. And some of them are going to work out some of them will and those are the ones that you'll end up building for so that's what's going on right now it's a super busy time um, I did I did have um, an administrative assistant that I hired and he did a great job it was you know I I, um, I had him for about a year and 
super smart. Um, you know, actually put some really great systems into place as far as like pricing calculators and um, just, just a, was a great a great help. But it was just more, you know, financial over anything else. Because um, in order to have somebody at that talent level, you have to pay them accordingly. And I just, um, you know, just was not able to. Uh, it, it just wasn't uh, comfortable, you know, financially to to do that. So. And I decided that, you know, I, I wasn't, it would have been tough too, because I really needed to spend more time um, training him to where he could have taken, you know, the workload away that I wanted to, to give away. But I just did not have enough time to spend training. And if, if somebody's just coming into the, uh, the, the home building, you know, industry, without having any um, background information or knowledge, there's, there's a lot of stuff you have to learn. No matter how smart you are, there's a lot of stuff to learn. So, um, but you have to, I mean, I felt like at this time last year and how I do feel right now, I feel buried and I feel overwhelmed at times. Um, the only way that I can combat that, and this is my best advice is, you know, I mentioned you're meeting with people and you know, you don't have time to, you know, meeting with somebody is great. Yeah, you have to have that initial meeting, but then you've got to follow up with pricing or whatever other info that they need so that you can bring them to the next step and ultimately build for them. So it's a two-part process, you know? So after I meet with somebody, and like I said, there's lots of paperwork to do to bring that person to the next step. And if I'm meeting with people all day long and I've got phone calls all day long from new inquiries and emails and just things going on from people that I'm you know, currently working with and, and walking through the checklist so that they get to the point of, of us digging their hole, it doesn't leave hardly any time at all during the day to do that administrative work that I need to do to keep that sales pipeline full. So like this morning, I've got a meeting at nine, 11 and 1 30 and I still had to get some pricing done for my nine o'clock meeting and there is no way I'm going to show up to a meeting and and spend you know two hours of my time and not really get anything accomplished because it because it's my fault so if I wouldn't have had that pricing done for the meeting this morning we wouldn't have got much accomplished because the family would have came to the meeting not really knowing where they were at. They sent me some, some plan info and they wouldn't have really known where they were at price-wise, whereas now they do. So I guess bottom, or long story short, I woke up at five o'clock five o'clock this morning and I got their pricing done, somebody else's pricing. Um, if you can get up early and you know get at least two hours and, and focus on just the administrative, you know, two hours a day in the morning so that during the day you don't feel completely stressed out and overwhelmed when you can't get that stuff done because you're, 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 you're responding to new inquiries or you're meeting with people. If you can get that, you know, two hours of administrative paperwork done either before or after work hours, however your lifestyle would allow you to do that, that is my, my best advice. Because if you're gonna be successful in new home construction sales or real estate, it's a game of hustle. You need to meet with as many people as possible. You need to be as quickly as possible when you are getting back to them and following up with them. In order, in order to get back to them and follow up with them, you need to have information put together for them. So it's, it's a hustle. It's a grind and it's a hustle. So if you're gonna be good at it, that's, that's what you need to do. I'm pulling into my, uh, to my office here. It is 8.50 and we're gonna get this day rolling here. Thanks for your time, God bless.